since I just got home from being away and we've got some news on our little farm. Oh my gosh. You guys see? Oh my heck. Oh Maggie, she's so giving a cute baby. Oh Maggie's. Maggie, I don't know how she's feeling about the baby. We're gonna have to figure out how she's feeling about this baby. So she's licking him. I think that's a good sign. I don't know if she's done having babies, so I need to get in there and check to make sure to see if she's done or not. See? So she's still got afterbirth coming out. I'm not sure if she's having any more. This baby chews a good day. September 4th. Yeah, it's, it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's super cute. There you go. There you go. Good morning. It's very early. Uh, we're gonna head out to the goats to go check on Maggie and her little baby. Um, I've got my little baby with me. And we're gonna head out there and let them out of the goat house. Um, we ended up kind of locking them up yesterday so that they were gonna stay warm uh, during the night. So on the back sides of these leaves, I noticed some aphids. Um, I also noticed some ants. The ants, here, let's see if I can show you guys. You guys see that? What happens is that these aphids will cluster and they'll start to drink the sap of the plant. And then these ants um, will actually protect the aphids uh, because the ants are getting some of that sap uh, from the aphids and so they are willing to protect the aphids so that they can continue to get and harvest the, the sap from the plant um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just spray these with some Dawn dish soap and some water uh, to try to kill the aphids um yeah and hopefully i don't get bit by any ants so i just am going to spray and i'm going to do that um, on all these undersides of these leaves that have this i don't know if you guys can see it but i can see the shadowing of uh, the aphids under there and the ants we're going to go ahead and spray underneath this leaf uh there were like a few leaves that were like this. I've thought about just pulling off some of these leaves. Um, yeah, to try to control this. Because it's not super bad right now. It's pretty bad, but it's not super bad. But I think that that might be the easiest way to try and control this. I don't know if you guys can even see it. All right, so it's just been like a few minutes. Um, these ants are dead. And so it makes me very hopeful that the aphids are dead as well. I'll come out and treat again if I'm noticing that they aren't. <laughs> the other news in the garden is we've got a tomato. I think this is a Sunrise Bumblebee Cherry Tomato. 
I'm not exactly sure. You see the bottom of it? How it's starting to get that kind of darker orange. I think that's what this is. Um, silly me did not mark what each of these tomato plants is. Um, I mean, I know I have a green zebra, like green zebra tomato plant in here, and I have um, a bunch of red ones, and I know I have a sunrise bumblebee, and that's why I'm wondering if that's what these are, because these look like um, cherry tomatoes. And they kind of look like that's what it's gonna be, you know? But I don't know, you guys. <laughs> so I'm, I've been just waiting um, to see if this is gonna turn red. Um, I've also been, yeah, I've just been waiting to see what it's gonna do. And um, I think I'm just gonna let it leave, like I'm gonna leave it there and let it get this darker orange on it. Um, um, yeah, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> So I'm just going to leave it and hopefully I'll be able to figure out what it is. I think this might be the green zebra tomato. I am not 100% sure. Um, just because it's not really like getting yellow. It's like more of like a, I don't know, a different kind of green. So I wonder if this is the green zebra tomato. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure on a lot of these because I didn't mark them. But I think this might be it. kind of fell off of her, mm -hmm. but we'll go ahead and get it off. <laughs> That's cute, huh? It's dancing around. <laughs> With its own dance moves. All right. So it's been about a day um, since we were out here with this sunflower. Oh, look, you guys, it's starting to open. Pretty. You see? We'll go up close and, and look at it in a minute. Um. But yeah, it's been about a day since we treated this sunflower. Um, I just wanted to show you the undersides of the leaves. Let's see. I think this was one, yep. Right here is where all those aphids were. They've all turned black. They're all dead, it looks like. Um, it, there is a little bit of browning on the leaf um, from that treatment, from the soapy water. And there's the other part, the other one on another leaf. They're all dead. Um, you can see this leaf is kind of like browned. Ants are gone. It did kill the ants as well. But we got that under control really quickly and I'm really pleased with how quickly that got under control. So we're looking at some sort of squash plant. Um, I wasn't for sure. I think this is a squash plant, even still. Ugh. It, I think it's a spaghetti squash. As you can see, this is a female flower. It's growing a fruit. Uh, another way you can tell that this is a female flower is that it will have a bulge, a little bit of a bulge at the bottom of the flower. Um, whereas a male flower will have I'll just show you this one. Because a male flower will just be a stem and then the flower. Another way to tell is on the inside of the flower. You can see that this one only has like a single thing in there. I don't, you know, this. And it has pollen on it. 
Whereas a female flower will have kind of multiple and looks kind of like that. It's not just a straight up thing with pollen on it. Sorry, you guys, it's kind of bright, so I'm trying to like use my shadow. I've actually been worried about how well these are gonna get pollinated. So I'm just going to take a paintbrush to the male flower. I'm going to take the bristles and I'm just gonna kind of wipe around in. In here. And you see I got all that pollen on this paintbrush. Now we're gonna come over to the female flower. And just like if I were like a bee, I'm going to go in here and I'm just gonna kind of swipe around in here. I'm gonna just swipe around all the way around this flower. This way we know that the flower, that the fruit got pollinated really well and that this will continue to grow. The fruit will continue to grow. What will happen is sometimes if these female flowers do not get pollinated well enough, the fruit will grow part way and then it will just die off. And it's just a lack of pollination. 